can't do it. So the key thing here is vertebrae that go forward, that go anterior, you can't self-correct. You can't use your own muscles. There's no muscle or combination of muscles that can pull in the direction needed to bring that backward. Now, some people say you never see this on x-ray or that doesn't happen. Well, I'm going to show you why that's not really true right now. So if you look at this slide, you can see here, uh, look at the top, you can see it's from Atlas of Common Subluxations of the Human Spine. That's right up in here. And that's by a chiropractor named Bill Ruck. We'll go over this a little bit more later. But if you look at the x-ray, you could see this T10 here. That's an anterior, and it's not so obvious on the x-ray. You, you, you can't really see it if we blow it up. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, if we blow that up here, T10, it doesn't even look like an anterior. It doesn't even look like it's anterior to the other vertebrae. If you take a look over here at the dissection, now this is the same thing. See, this x-ray was taken, and then the body was uh, put on a bandsaw, and they just cut a section out here. You could see here that the vertebra is anterior. And again, let me enlarge that here for you. You can see the vertebra has gone anterior, it's lost its leverage, and now from that point it's stuck forward. People often ask why this is visible on the dissection and not on the x-ray. And the answer is this bone goes forward and then the whole body leans forward. So there's a lot of pressure at this point and the pressure causes the bone to demineralize. So when you look at the x-ray, you know, the x-ray blows right through this and you don't see it. Um, you see the, the portion that's mineralized and you see the border right there where the body's trying to fight it so it looks more white. But that's not actually the bottom of the bone. The bottom of the bone is actually down here and the whole thing has gone forward. The interesting thing is people are always asking, how did you figure that out? You didn't have the sections to do. And the answer is over here, uh, looking at the x-ray, those of you who are trained in x-ray know that when you get a compression fracture or something like that, the only thing that doesn't change is the back of the vertebrae. So if you draw a line in here, let's take this arrow here. If you draw a line and put the line on the back of the vertebrae, you can see that this one is like this and if we copy that and we take another one and we put it over here on the back of this other vertebrae uh, let's see we can't quite let's see if we can move that over a little bit and get that there I did this this of course was done in the 80s manually I didn't have a computer at that time uh, nobody did you could see there's a change there and then if we take one here and we put that on the next vertebrae or vertebra you could see there's a not as much of a change and there's not as much of a change in the next one and then there's a big change there well when you start to do mathematics and, and let, let's go down here and you look at this one here and there's not much of a change there well, when you start to plot these things on a graph, this is a sudden acceleration. This is a sudden increase in the curve. Even though it looks like T10 might even actually be an extension here on the x-ray, even though it looks like it might be an extension, if you look at the back of the vertebra, which is the reliable indicator of its shape, you could see that actually goes, bam, that goes forward into flexion. Well, that's how I figured this stuff out. I look for reliable markers and I applied mathematics. You know, this is calculus, acceleration of a curve and things like that. It was a bit funny. One of the guys when I was doing this live said, oh, you're like that mathematician in the show numbers. The guy's an FBI agent and his brother's a mathematician who looks at the crime statistics and predicts the crime. Well, if you look at the reliable indicators, you can understand what's happening with the spinal curves and predict what's going on, which is why Harrison and all those other people missed it. They supposedly had the knowledge, but they didn't put it to the right use. What happens is, as you can see over here, the vertebra goes forward and then it loses its leverage. 
Now, let me uh, take a minute and let me show you a, a graphic of what happens there when that, uh, when that vertebra goes forward. All right, so here, you know, you have your lateral spine. And what people think happens is people think when there's an anterior chiropractor think something like this happens, where this bone goes forward. You can see that bone up there. They think that bone goes forward. All right, look, look right up in this area and they think something like that happens. But if, if that happens, how does this upper part of the spine stay there? You know, th this upper part of the spine is leaned on that bone. How does it stay there? Well, the answer is it doesn't. What actually happens is that bone gets knocked forward. You can see it's the same bone here. If you take a look, that bone gets knocked forward. And when it's knocked forward like that, it loses its leverage and suddenly makes a bend forward. And if you go back and think of that other one, that's why all of a sudden there's a sharp change in the curves there. That's because that goes forward. And when you go to fix that, and your seminar leader is going to take a second and going to do that on a few people here just to demonstrate the physicality of this so you don't have to believe me. This is physically true, and you're going to see it in a second. What happens is you correct the position of that vertebrae. And now the leverage has returned. See, if you look over here, now it's in the right place, and the body will pop upright all by itself. Now, you've already seen that with the first rib going into place, but your seminar leader is going to now pause the, uh, the DVD here, and your seminar leader is going to correct a couple of anteriors. So let me hang on. Before he does that, let me show you. Here's, here's what people think happens versus what really happens. All right? And then again, when you fix that, uh, it's stuck forward like this, and it's going to go backward and just going to pop right up. Okay, so he's going to pause this and show you that on a few people.